Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we've got another review video. We're going to check out a Nicru air pump. You might have seen in the past I've done what I said was the best air pump I'd ever had. It was a Nicru pump. I've had lots of Nicru products in the past. They're always kind of the bargain end, but really good quality I've found. So I've got lots of Nicru lights, I've got lots of Nicru air pumps now. Most of the equipment, all bar one, I didn't like their heater. Um, but most of the equipment I found to be really good. So Nicru reached out to me and said, would you mind if we sent you something? And I said, of course not. As ever, just because they sent me something for free doesn't mean I'm going to give an unbiased opinion. So if this sucks, I will tell you. This is what we've got. We've got the Nicru Silent Nano Air Pump. Nifty little package. Like I say, it's a Nicru product. I generally like them, but we'll test it out and we'll have a look at it. So let's see what we've got in the box. So first off, we've got the pump itself, so you can see by the size of it, quite small, nifty, it's kind of brushed metal effect finish, it's plastic, but it kind of looks like a brushed metal effect, uh, and obviously you've got your power supply here, decent length of lead as well, but I quite like the design, it's nice and unforceable, it's nice and compact, it's not very thick, it comes with this... Um, detachable sucker so it's expectation as you stick this onto the side of the tank which we'll try out a bit so we get that we get a non-return valve we get a bunch of air line and an air stone everything you need to get started so what this is it's a piezoelectric or a piezoelectric uh, air pump which means I've had them in the past which means it's basically going to be silent so I've got no doubts that it will be silent my only complaint about them in the past has been a bit pathetic. This doesn't make any outlandish claims about airflow or anything like that, but we'll test it out and we'll see what we get. Documentation says it will drive uh, an aquarium up to 40 litres. I think it makes something like 300 millilitres a minute. So where most air pumps might be measured in litres per minute, this is measured in millilitres. Generally, it'll be enough to drive an airstone, enough to drive a small sponge filter, something like that. Uh, but we'll try it out in a nano tank. I think I've got a nano tank. In fact, we can do a check-in on uh, Snowflake, my daughter's fish. But yeah, it's it's perfect for some situations. Obviously, it's not going to run a fish room, but if you're just trying to run a small air filter or a little bit of a, an air stone or air curtain, something like that, it will generally be fine. The beauty of this is the power draw. It's only drawing 1.5 watts, so perfect to run a tank cheaply and not use loads of power. Especially older pumps. Older pumps can run 10, 20, 30 watts. Uh, and they're just really inefficient so if even if you, this isn't the pump for you i would recommend upgrading your air pump anyway because a lot of the newer air pumps draw a lot less power and that will save you a lot of money these days so i think we're going to take this we'll hook it up we'll do a bit of a comparison against another air pump uh, running a nano tank running a sponge filter and see how it compares so this is my daughter's nano tank this is snowflakes tank he's a better that we picked up from fishman aquatics a few weeks back a couple of months back probably until now, it's been running on this Nicru Max 6 pump, which is a great pump. I'll, I'll leave a link to the video below. It's not silent, but it's very, very quiet. It's been in our bedroom ever since we set this tank up. I would definitely recommend this pump, um, if no, for nothing else, for its battery backup feature. So you can set the power levels of this pump. It does all kinds of great features. Brilliant pump. It's just not quite silent, but very, very quiet. Whereas this piezoelectric, piezoelectric pump is absolutely silent. The only noise you can hear off of this is actually coming from the bubbles. I've got a decibel meter there. This is the nano pump running. And then if I plug in the other pump, start it. So you can see there's quite the difference. Snowflake's doing well. He has developed a little bit of red. So it was, a black. and a little bit of black, as my daughter says. It was pure white when we got him. Yeah, that's why we named him Snowflake. But yeah, a little bit of red mm. on most of the fins. He's looking great, he's doing well. It's kind of pinky red. Pinky red. I like, it goes from, like in the middle, it's like red, and then it goes out to pink. So tell us about Snowflake. He's my fish. And he lives in my room. He's got way better furniture than some of Dad's fish. Furniture? Same thing. 
Um, it's just for fish. It's furniture for fish. Decor, if you really want to be sciencey. Um, but <laughs> here's my fish. He's got a stripe of red on his tail. He's very smart fish because he knows when he's getting fed. What, what are you feeding him? Micro pellets and bug flakes. And where can you buy that if you want to get some? Aquariumadventures.com .co.uk You can get normal stuff from pet shop. It's it's definitely, definitely, definitely terrible there, though. Get it from... Get it from... Aquariumadventures.io <laughs> Whatever he said. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. So, when we first got him, well, as I just told you, he's got a red stripe now. But before, he was perfectly white. And like at the scales um, part, he was like a little pinky, but now he's really pink. And you could see down on his chin, he's a bit black, and his nose is black too. So he's a black and white and red and pink. Lots of colours. What do you have to say for yourself, Snowflake? Blub, 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 blub. Mm-hmm. Okay, as well, um, there's lots of snails. You can barely see them because all the big ones disappeared um, and they were quite stupid. Other than that one, that one. They seem to be escaping, but I thought they would like the water because they're supposed to be water snails. Maybe maybe he didn't get them from... Maybe somebody's it. eating them. It's not like Mia's going to jump in the tank and eat them. Snowflake? Snowflake isn't that mean. So tell me about the air pump, how loud is it, how quiet is it? You can hear bubbles, which I don't. I didn't hear before. Yes, you did. Did I? Yes. Right. Oh, okay. By the air pump, is it louder or quieter, can you tell? Probably not. So this is the airflow with the Max 6 connected to the sponge filter. Mm. And this is the airflow with the nano pump. All in all, I think that's pretty good. I definitely have to recommend that. It wasn't anywhere near as pathetic as I was expecting it to be. The fact that there's no moving parts inside, really, it's, it's the silence is the main selling point. It's not about how much air it's going to pump through, but that's perfectly fine to run a small filter. You obviously wouldn't be expecting to run a fish room or anything like that, but a small air sponge, a breeder box, a bubbler in a breeder box, something like that, absolutely perfect. Perfect for bedroom tanks, so if you're going to have a tank in your bedroom you don't want the hum of an air pump, because even that Nikru Max 6 one, I would call that really quiet and good enough for a bedroom, this is still better. So if you fancy that, I will put a link down in the description to Amazon where you can pick that up. It's cheap as chips, definitely worth having as a, a standby. Obviously I will get a couple of pennies for buying it through that link, so it'll be an affiliate link, but otherwise wholeheartedly recommend that without any reservations at all. Right, thank you very much for joining me. As always, click that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. It does help out the channel. It helps me afford all these little tests and experiments. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.